there's a, a boat that you can ride on through the new river here in downtown Fort Lauderdale. We never did it, but you know, it's, it's a cool thing and we saw it, people riding on it. At Christmas time, they do a really cool show. A parade. Which, a parade, um, yeah, it's beautiful. We, we came a day early. Yeah, and they never showed up the and next then, day. For and us. then we decided to, you know, to go, but then we changed our minds because of weather. Big, massive, 105 inch screen projector. projector that we couldn't sell for a long time. But then we sold it. But then we sold it. Oh, this is just so pretty. Yep. This is, to, to us, this is prettier than Fort Lauderdale Beach. Yeah, and less, you know, touristy and less crowded. I mean, Fort Lauderdale Beach can get. Filled with annoying. They have uh, a lot of 5Ks and races that go on in this area. They use this bridge to go across, I think. This one or the following? I think they go across this one and they go across the other one too. It's lots of yachts. Yeah, lots of, lots of yachts. Pretty place. Yeah. It's been a nice year and three months. We've enjoyed it. One time we uh, had a dance or like a an event where a local band played. Quite a good band. They were really pretty talented, and people were dancing. And good, good old time. We got, I think I had my first martini. Martini. Yeah. Apple martini. Yeah. Elbows. Seems to be the Oh. Oh yeah. That's cool. Right up there. Need a trend. The RVers have to get tired of an RV and they buy a boat. Yeah, it's like they're tired of the open road, so they want the open Let's water. See. And so many times they don't even know what they're doing. No, because they have to hire a captain. To very limiting yeah I don't know teach their own yeah. though everyone's got their their thing I personally like road trips 24-hour video surveillance you are being recorded that is nice because they don't hide it yeah love this tree yeah. such a cool little tree Sure is different. That's what it's all about. Different. It is beautiful. Somebody tells the tree that it's not allowed to be the way it is because other trees have a different shape. Pretty flowers on it. That's what it's the name. Yeah. So that was the restaurant where the band was yeah. 
playing that night and it was when we first moved here we came out here and just walked around but then we discovered they had their own gym yes this uh, the city had this really cool little area which we found out was a lot of a place where a lot of homeless people hang out but it also was a very cool little spot to do some what a functional type functional of, type or not so much functional but like a circuitry and here it is it's pretty cool it's got it's got picnic tables but it's got all these green exercise equipment things hydration stations oh look at that and for you and for your pet uh, yes isn't that cool got all kinds of, all sorts of different workouts. cool like little stuff. apparatus that people would that we would do some exercises why don't you demonstrate you what we did on this one no this one this one remember we used to do those pull-up things So you could make a workout routine out of anything. Oh, look at that. How bad for a 53-year-old man, huh? I don't, I'm not complaining. It's not good to work out without your gloves, not especially not They had some cool, here's a little stair climber thing. Yeah. Cool little stair climber. He's got a little hydraulics. Yeah, it works still. Yeah. It sure does. And you got some, you know, simulate squats. Down and up. This kills the, the little bones. <laughs> in the yeah, body. it's not Ow. really made for little bones. No. And then this, for fat is, and this is for your chest. Yeah. And back. And hydraulics are again both positive and negative, which is very good. Very few machines actually have a hydraulic system. I used to have a hydraulic machine when I owned my business, and it was very good for training fast twitch muscles. You're training not only for bulk, but also training for endurance and strain. Hydraulics is a very good system now and right now they have it at a very high that's why I'm going slow if you uh, bring it at a lower hydraulics and you go faster this one right here is going to really execute a lot of the white twitch or white fibers which will create growth and the fast twitch will create endurance and speed and help the, the muscle shape itself all around and that was the health fitness tip of the, the day, day. Oh, my. Hmm. We could do a health fitness tip sometimes. Yeah, looks like we would take these steps all the way up and then go across the, the bridge, around. go around, and there's another park that has that same equipment. I don't know. It sounded better when we first saw it when it first it first put it in I guess it's kind of lost it's uh, what do you call it when you tune a piano it's uh, it's tuning it's, it's tone tuning. it's tone Nice uh, little mural here. 
Just another calm day on New River and the riverfront. Well, a lot of day. The big old Building. expensive apartments. At least two thousand and change for probably a one bedroom apartment. Well, two thousand and change. Oh, look at there's somebody canoeing. Walking and found these. I like to collect uh, feathers. Feather is, um, I've always used them. I just use them, I've always um, utilized them for healing. I do healing rituals. And, um, we lost all our feathers. Yeah, yeah. But we will gather some more. And I love to put them in our traveling. Um, when I did my first spiritual journey. Signifies travel, it signifies freedom, it signifies health. The natives use them also for a lot of rituals. Tapping into those energies. And I was uh, healing you and used a lot of the crystals and feathers and the sage as part of the healing. Probably too time. early, huh? Yeah. Thank you. Some cool stuff in there. Shiny. Excuse me. Sorry. No, thank you. I don't get it. One place is closed. Another place is coming to open. And then they're building. They're building. That's the problem. That's why a lot of places are closed because it's excessive amounts of businesses that cannot compete. 
And look at all these. $1,699,75, Could be yours. Yeah. If the price is right. Look at that. Fifteen grand a month. a month for a three bedroom. That's why we leave it. Yeah. $3,000 a month. Oh. Wow. One million six hundred and ninety-five thousand for that. Price oh, look at that one. And they win. Yeah. Rootscape quarters are always. Yep. This is the place we were talking about that we didn't see before. Tequila bar coming winter. We'll be long gone. Long, long, long. I don't even know where we'll be, but we won't be here. Nope. We'll be somewhere warm. Wow. I wish they were ready. Such a beautiful, tasty fruit. Yeah. And they grow wild here. Yeah, they do. Don't they do? Look at, you hear it? It's quiet. Prius. Oh. You don't even hear the engine. Nope. Las Palomas. Bamboo. Yeah, beautiful. Look at that house. Small, clean. It's got a beautiful, like, enclosed yeah. screen area. I always loved this artwork on this wall. 
or not. I just wonder if they had, you Hansel know... Gretel and what's the kid's story? Hansel and Gretel? Yeah, that's what it reminds me of. Uh, look at the car. I don't know the color of the cars. Those people didn't have good on the cool as you say in Spanish. Which means they... They have to put that. taste in their ass, I guess. Yeah. That's a has been yeah. house. Yeah. That has been totally abandoned pretty much. I mean, big, big real estate there. But pretty it's much. DLC. I mean, it's beautiful. Or it was at one point. Yeah. And no longer. Yep. It's a has been. Across the street. And if you go now, 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 see now you can't do the bottles. Another gated entrance. For that, you can't build a gate for flowers like that. It's so pretty. So, what's your great takeaway? Takeaway from the walk? Yeah. I'm just looking forward to exploring new things. I mean, it's been great. Time for a new chapter. And I really don't like the energy of the affluent nature. <laughs> I don't. So you uh, noticed anything like while we were walking along? I mean, do you like just is there a particular incident that happened or? This is it just, oh, just the overall it's sentiment. The overall sentiment of watching people sitting in these like really expensive restaurants, flaunting around their cocktail and eating their, you know, expensive entries and appetizers and all that stuff. And and then you see other people that have nothing to eat. And it's just nothing against the rich, but. I, I couldn't live with myself if, you know, I was the one on the, that side of having all these things and, and knowing that the rest of the world is, is going hungry and just the socialist in me, I guess, you know? Well, I think it's a humanitarian yeah. in you. Yeah. I don't think it's... Well, I, I look at social, as I was saying before, better than right now, but... Um, Labels, I know, are very limiting, but I have humanitarian, as you were saying, but at the same time, knowing that our consciousness as a species is one, I don't understand how someone could enjoy having a good life knowing that there are so many people out there who have nothing. Yeah, I mean, like we're walking these streets and we're walking around so many affluent houses and people that own these homes and everything. And just down the street, there's people that don't have anything to eat but are living without. And it's not that they're living just without, but they don't have the opportunities that these people have. And they don't think of anything to share what they have with anybody else. They yeah. have to build walls and fences and, you know, make sure that people aren't, like, getting into their things and 
protecting them and alarm systems and no trespassing. Yeah, no trespassing and you know, big hedges and shrubbery to keep people out. It's not like, you know, that's not what humans are supposed to be all about. No. And it's what the system has created. Because they pit us against one another and make us have this love affair with material things and toys and forget what we're really here to do is to create connections, to be part of Mother Earth, to be hospitable to one another. So yeah, that's what, and walking down that area, that's what I see, all these you know yachts and people sitting down drinking on, on their boats and, you know, that to me is just, uh, I don't know. It doesn't seem fair and it doesn't seem right, in my opinion. And then when they tell people, you know, that, well, you could do that too if you worked hard enough. And then that's just a big lie. Yeah. You know, that's just the bait and switch type of thing. Yeah, you go to college, get a degree, you know, fill yourself up with a bunch of student loans that you have to pay forever, and then that means, you know, with interest and all that stuff. And, you know, people keep working hard to try to get somewhere, but in reality, there's a limit, you know, unless you were extremely lucky. Wow. What? Beautiful. Look at that. See, that's, that's what nature produces. Things that are free. But the affluent people think that they could take what nature produces and sell it to people. And they're the ones making all the money when it's actually nature that provides these things for us at no cost. But it's the man that has taken over land and charged and, and taken possession and those who were lucky enough to be, yeah. you know, become owners of these land that really belongs to all of us. You know, Jimmy John's is a sandwich shop, you know? Yep. And Jimmy John's has a sign in front of each and every one of their stores. And it doesn't say free sandwich. It says free smells. As if you're allowed to take a whiff of what they're making, mm -hmm. but they're not going to give it to you for free. You're going to have to pay for it. Exactly. And that's a sad thing because a place like that could be a little bit more giving yeah. and not just flaunt what they have and say, you know, if you want to come by, you can smell, but if you're going to buy, you're going to have to pay. It's just so pathetic. It's like food that grows, you know, this old industrial system, this agricultural system that literally imprisoned people so that if you want to eat, you've got to play the game. When Mother Earth never charged us for the food that she bountifully gave us. Mankind thinks this world belongs to them and they're there for the taking. And the haves will always enslave the half nots. Yeah. People need to literally wake up and realize what this matrix is all What's about. he doing? Oh, he's just obsessed with this toy. He's blowed. He's blow drying his <laughs> brakes because I've never seen that. Because you when you wet your brakes they get. But I've never seen that. Well, but you've never lived in the world of the elite that they're so, you know, obsessed, obsessed with their toys. That they blow dry <laughs> the brakes after they wash their cars. Wow. Yeah. And that's what I'm talking about, folks. That's, that's why we're leaving here. Yeah. Because it's like that 
is American excessiveness, mm -hmm. materialistic excessiveness, if I've ever seen it. We saw it on the cruise ship. You know, it's everywhere. Yeah? It's everywhere. And I personally don't want any part of it. I want to be with the real people are, with the people that have true spirit, the giving, loving people that there are on this planet, because we do exist. We just got to find our tribe. Find your tribe. I think that's the big takeaway. Yeah. Find, find your tribe. tribe. Yeah. That's what we want to do. Yeah. It's definitely not here. Nope. Still a pretty place, though. Yeah. But all that glitters is not gold.